Shopify trade theme customization. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I am going to be telling you how you can customize the trade theme in Shopify. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So what you're going to do is you want to come over here onto the left hand side and you want to come over here underneath sales channels and click on online store. Then you're going to go into the theme section right here. Then scroll down. You're going to see you have a bunch of different themes right here underneath theme library. I have a few. What you want to do is you want to click on add theme and click on visit theme store. It's going to open up the theme store and you're going to go ahead and search for the trade theme. So click on the search bar right here and just search for trade. It's going to pop up right here. Click on it, open it up and just simply go ahead and click on try theme. All right. It's free. So you don't have to worry about it. It's going to go ahead and add the theme to your online store. Give it a couple of seconds to load everything up. And once it's loaded, it'll say right here, added trade or adding trade. Give it a couple of seconds to load everything up. And once it's loaded up, it's going to be added right here. You can see right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at how it looks like. So I'm going to open up the preview right here. And this is how the trade website looks like. It looks pretty simple, nothing too crazy. But let's go ahead and edit it. So click on customize to customize the website. And here is the editor. So here you can see this is the partner logo section right here where you can add the logos of your partner company right of course you can add other stuff to it doesn't really have to be that you can add emojis or flyer or whatever or different text to it you can change this bar right here and turn it into a revolving bar that way you know it'll have like announcement bar to it set up over here at the top and it's going to change and these are going to be your top products right here as well so let me just go back one second and check out all the products that i have i believe i had a bunch of products yeah there we go so let's go ahead and get started so first things first what you want to edit is this section right here you can see the image banner over here you can change the image banner or completely change the section and add it to your or add something of your own you know whatever you want but yeah click on the image banner on the left hand side and you're going to see you have all of the options over here on the right side you're going to see you can add images second images image overlay banner height and everything you can even change up the color scheme and you can even add like a animation so fixed background position zoom in on scroll or ambient movement we'll see what that would look like once we have added the image so let's go ahead and try that so let's go ahead and click on select image if you have some images that you want to add you can add them over here you even have the dynamic section over here or meta objects you can add that over here so these are like you know meta fields but we don't want to add that if you have a custom video option that you have added you can select that and click on add entry and but for now we'll leave it we don't want to add that for now so let's go ahead and select an image so if you already have an image just simply go ahead and upload it over here or select it but if you're not you can upload one and you should be good to go so to upload the image you can see right here click on the upload image button and then select the image that you want and you should be good to go so what i'm going to do is i'm just simply going to add like a image of one of the products this leather jacket look pretty cool maybe this image let me select that and click on done and see what it looks like so this is how it looks like and this is the animation that we selected which is the ambient movement we can even select the zoom on scroll you can see it slightly moves but we can even go with a fixed background position it'll just stay like that but i think this one is you know pretty cool uh you can add multiple images over here you can even add a second image so let's select this image right here and this will be like an overlay you can see right here this is the overlay over here uh this is the second image i don't think two images would look pretty cool but yeah let's go ahead and delete that we'll keep one image there we go you have other options as well like banner height so you can see this is a small height we can go with the medium large adaptive first image totally depends on you but i think a small banner looks pretty cool you have the desktop content position you can go with right now it's middle left you can see right here you can go with middle center right here or middle right or top left or top center totally depends on you but i think middle left is where it's at and it looks good you can even select the desktop content alignment go with center or left since it's on the left side makes sense we put it over here on the left then you've got the mobile layout as well so this is the desktop view if you click on mobile this is how it would look like on your phone and you can see right here mobile layout you can go with left 
or center since it's on a phone i think center looks best so we're gonna since it's on a phone i think the center would look best so we're gonna keep that so let's go back to desktop and continue with our editing so from time to time you want to make sure that you save it so that you know you don't lose any progress um you know if you accidentally close the browser or something else happens you know never really know just to be safe make sure you save it all right so next let's move on to the next section now i am not going to be covering every single aspect since it's quite detailed and if i were to go ahead and dive into every single detail it would just take way too long and the video would be like an hour long so we're not going to go into every single detail we're just going to go over the main stuff the rest depends on you and your creativity so next let's go ahead and set up some product so we're going to click over here on this multi-column right or this feature collection right here you can see right here on the left hand side and you'll see over here on the right hand side we've got our options right here you can see right here uh make products full width if you want that and then you've got your color scheme solid buttons you've got your bulk your numbered layout and you know all the good stuff now you click on select collection right here and now you can go ahead and select the collection you can see right here and any description style you'll see collections click on select select the collection that you want right so let's go ahead and select that one and all of our products from that collection are going to appear over here so let me just change this since we only have one of that so let me select this one and see if we have no we don't have so let me replace that with women collection let me actually go ahead and check out over here i believe i had more products but i think they're not added within the collection itself so let me go ahead and click on collections here we go you can see we only have a couple of products so let's go ahead and add a few more products within the collection so that we have you know a bit more variety so we can see where there's only one let's go ahead and add some click on browse and from here we can go ahead and select all the products that we want there we go now it looks much better so now let's go ahead and add a few more to the other collection open it up all right there we go so now we have a couple of more products and now if i save it we should have some more options right here I'm gonna load up and let me actually here we go you can see right here now let me just change the number of columns to just one see how that would look maximum products should be five and number of columns should be five as well and here we go so now we have a few more products then over here you can select your shop category so here you can type in your collection list right so again type in your collection since we have three collections what i'll do is i'll narrow it down to three instead of okay so there should be here we go so i'll just delete the few and there we go so now we have three collections three columns so now i'll just click on the collections select the collection and select the collection that i want to add I accidentally added another one let me delete that let's go ahead and select the men's collection and then finally women's collection delete the extra that i added accidentally and there we go next over here you can add your testimonials right so you can see multi-column so click over here onto any of these and then over here you can select the image or create a dynamic meta object or you know field whatever you want and then over here add a customer testimony here you can add their names and then in the description you can add their reviews and then you can link them over here to the product that they've purchased there you go you can add multiple testimonials over here i believe new arrivals should be over here at the top but you know it only depends on you where you want to add them but if you want to delete them you can delete them as well and then over here is your this could also be a testimonial section but i don't think we would need it this could be your about section actually you can add your own stuff to it where you get your materials how you make them is it eco-friendly and all of that and now once you've done that you should be good to go so once everything is done once you've added everything just simply click on save and publish and there you go this is how you do it this is how you edit the trade theme on shopify now i know i didn't get into a whole lot of stuff but that's all the time that we have for today but thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible and until next time take care and goodbye